Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome, I'm Lisette. And guys, we have a finish. Right, so this is Arrival from Dimitra Milan, uh, licensed through Milan Art to Diamond Art Club. I have done the unboxing, I think, two weeks ago. And when I did the unboxing, I'll put a link over there, I showed you <laughs> this one that is in the last chance section of Diamond Art Club, which means that once this one goes out of stock, it will not come back. So if you want to get it, you need to be quick. At the time of this filming, it was still available. So go check out uh, the description box below if you want to have this diamond painting. Uh, this is my post review. As you guys know, I'm always honest. Um, I was a bit worried about the rendering. That was what I said uh, when I did the unboxing. Let me show you a picture of the original artwork. This is the original artwork. And this is the diamond painting. Um, <clears throat> okay, this one is around. It has 57 colors. It works up really quickly. You've got color blocking in the background. I'll zoom you out a bit. You've got color blocking in the background. So these areas are all color blocking. So even though you have 57 colors, it works up pretty quickly because you've got a lot of line blocking as well. I was worried that you wouldn't be able to see the boat. Well, as you can see, you can really see the boat. That's not a problem. I really like the bottom part. The part that I have a real problem with is the face. I like the hair, I like they did this the way and um, Diamond Art Club hand renders their canvases guys which means that they actually have someone who goes through the chart and makes sure it looks as realistic as possible. Um, the way the rendering of Diamond Art Club works is that you get more crisp images and uh, with a lot of artwork that works out really great like for instance the dragons of Randall Speckler I think that's superb with this art though I'm not too sure and let me show you what I mean so what I really don't like is the way the face turned out okay let me zoom you in so when you go to the website of Diamond Art Club, you get a photo of the original artwork first. So first you see this. And then you can also see a photo of the rendering. That's the second photo on the website. And I'll put that in here so you can see the way you see it on the website of Diamond Art Club. This is how it turned out in real life. Well, the nose. It really looks like a bit of a pig's nose, sorry, uh, when you see it in real life, even from afar. And they have put uh, AB drills in her face. This is really weird, a bit too pronounced. And I think, personally, maybe that the face, because this is more like um, artwork that maybe uh, the crisp rendering isn't the best rendering style. I don't know if that's the reason why it's a last chance because maybe they weren't too happy with the rendering themselves as well. Personally, uh, this is my least favorite finish of my entire stash so far. Um, I don't know if you agree. I really loved working on it. That wasn't a problem. So it was really, it works up really quickly and the colors are great. I have tons of leftover drills as always. Look, you see each color, no problem at all. The color palette is really beautiful. I really like the meaning of this diamond painting. That was what draw me in. I really love the original artwork. 
but I just don't think that this is the best rendering style for this art. Maybe even uh, the art itself doesn't lend itself best for um, diamond painting, I don't know. I have seen other artwork of her from Diamond Art Club that I did really like. I have seen um, Katie from Diamonds and Washi. She did Protégé and I have seen finishes of Steadfast Heart. That one is really beautiful as well. So maybe it's just this one. I haven't seen a finished version of this one. For me, I really like the way they did this, but I just really don't like the face. I really don't like the eyes as well. I do think it's really hard to do these eyes, look. Because in the original artwork, you see that she has one bluish eye and one with a little bit of a gaze of uh, purple. And that they did here, but well, through the lens it looks better, but in real life it just doesn't work. The, the mouth doesn't work. There's a little bit of a dot over there and they did the dot, but the mouth just doesn't work. Um, this part I really like, that the way they did that. No, but guys, for me, personally, uh, this is a, a no. Sorry Diamond Art Club, you know that I really like Diamond Art Club. This is the first one that is a bit disappointing to me. I don't know the reason why they are discontinuing this particular one. Um, but um, would I recommend getting this one? Uh, no, I wouldn't. I would get one of the other ones of Milan Art. There are a couple of them on Diamond Art Club and I would get another one. I really love the meaning of this one though. That's the reason that I got it and because the description with this diamond painting I will read it to you. Does she remember who she really is? Doesn't she know she's worth more than all the stars combined? Her soul belongs to another place, one more real than this world. Her search is nearly over. She has all that she needs kept already inside her. So that I really love. I really love the message. I love the original artwork. Uh, this was one of the diamond paintings that I bought for Diamond Painting It Forward. If you don't know what that is, Diamond Painting It Forward is a segment on my channel uh, dedicated to diamond paintings that hope to inspire, help, heal or empower. So just some special diamond paintings. I'll put a link to the playlist over there. Um, so this one I bought for that section. Okay, and just one last thing guys. Yay! This is finish number 13, so... Okay! I'm doing a stash detox in case you don't know what that's about. I'm trying to work through my entire stash without buying new ones. I'll put a link to the playlist over there. So that's 39 to go and 13 finished. And guys, this is finish number 13 of my 52 stash. 52 diamonds painting in my stash. So I'm going to put arrival over there and look, I'm a quarter of the way in. So I have finished a quarter of my stash. Yay! <laughs> Another milestone and uh, well it took me about six and a half months to do one quarter of my stash. So let's just see how long the rest will take me. Look, I wrote it down. Arrival, DAC. And look guys, of these 13 in my stash I've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of the 13 are Diamond Art Club and this is the first one of those that I'm like, no, 
that's a no. So the other ones are all positive reviews. <laughs> so just keep that in mind, okay? <laughs> Okay, and people always ask me, how long did it take you to work on this one and finish this one? Right, guys, um, so I started this one on April 28th and I finished it on May 10th. And I didn't work on other diamond paintings in between, which I normally do. Uh, but our season has started, we were on a B&B. &B. Um, so I wasn't able to spend as much time on diamond painting as I have done before but that is how long it took me so well I didn't diamond paint every day but from start till finish April 28th till May 10th so that's 13 days that's how long it took me to do this one uh, I would really love to know what you guys think. Do you agree with me? Um, I think the this art, so this face, uh, maybe it would have turned out better if it was rendered by, in the style like for instance the way DIY Moonshop does it, like with the Margaret Morales um, kind of faces. Maybe that would have worked. I don't know. Maybe there are just too many, many colors in her face. But for me, no. The background I like. I like the color palette. I like the, the boat in here. I like the meaning. I just don't like the face. And the worst part is the nose and the mouth. No. And through the lens it looks better than in real life. So, sorry guys, um, no, this one really doesn't work for me. Um, the next week I have another unboxing from Diamond Art Club and that's one that I'm really excited about. So I hope you'll be watching then. If you like this video, I really hope you give me a thumbs up on your way out. Guys, I hope you can appreciate my honesty. Um, once again, I have many kits of Diamond Art Club. I think they are doing, having some amazing artists and, and well, just this one doesn't work. It happens. <laughs> and maybe you're watching and you're like, Wow, I really adore this one. Well, that's the reason I'm showing it. And this is just my opinion, guys. So please form your own. And if you really like this piece, be sure to get it now that it's still available. Oh, and just one more thing. Also the neck, which is really weird in the original artwork as well. So look. Mm, no. Right, guys. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I hope you give me a thumbs up on your way out. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Uh, I don't know what the reason is that they are de-stashing it. Uh, de-stashing. <laughs>